previously on Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. Yep, your. No! And now, back to Edgeworth noises. Hmm, I guess that about wraps up my investigation. There we go. What the doodle pants? Who's there? That's, oh God. It's... The Pink Princess. Yo, Big Press, how are you, how are you feeling? Still feeling ill? Why isn't she talking? And another strange creature comes out of the woodwork. Oh God, who's under that one? Why? She didn't say anything. That makes me worry. Uh, my balls are tingling. What's happening? What, who is that? So the princess also comes out to play the Alabastian Embassy a visit. God dang it, you're going to be another camera under there, aren't you? I believe I may need to speak with her as well. Oh, no. What? No, who are you going to be? Are you being a lot of heart or some bullshit? Actually, no, that's impossible. No, we, we saw them. Wait, did we? Did we see a lot of heart and hit her in the same room? I'm afraid. Is some bull I, I wouldn't even be surprised. Miss Pink Princess, I have a few questions I'd like to ask you. Miss Pink Princess, will you please answer? <gasps> no! My God, are you kidding me? Me! <laughs> you have got to be shitting me. What? No. No. We have fulfilled our old bag quota for this game. You do not show up in two cases in a row. Well, actually, well, not in a row, but two cases in this game. One is an- Are you shitting me? What the fuck? Okay, this is horse shit now. Now that this keeps fuck with me, I think. Oh my god, the bosom's on her too. Look at that. <laughs> actually, actually those, God, those boobs look really weird, don't they? They okay, strapped two kickballs to her chest. <laughs> this, what, this must be what they call fate. God dang it. Uh, god dang doodly. I can't. No, come on. We got. Now we just got Larry. Now you're hitting me with a fucking double curveball right in my face. No! Not again! Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha ha! Ah! How could, How could this happen two days in a row? Boom! What the? Are you, Miss Olbeck? Why are you so surprised? Oh, so you're not the. You're not. You're, you're the one that got placed to steal Samurai. Oh, it's too bad. I didn't realize that until now. You can't. I just. Uh, 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 you are acquaintances with Larry? Why, oh, yes. We worked at the same company for a little while, you know. I actually remember that. Yeah, they worked as the security people. I remember that. <laughs> That's why it's okay by you. You don't need to be jealous. <laughs> save me, my karma. Save me. Calm the fuck down, Jesus. I was in the next room, you know, trying to get in, get in some beauty sleep. But it was so noisy here that I couldn't I couldn't fall asleep, so I came over to complain. <laughs> so imagine my shock when I saw my precious edgy poo waiting, waiting here for me. I mean, who could have imagined that you would ever come to a show like this? I guess I misjudge you, edgy poo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> somebody, somebody up in heaven is laughing at me right now. I know it. I know it. It was you, Phoenix, isn't it? <laughs> Yes. You misjudged him. I thought he was trying to avoid me, you know. <laughs> that was no misjudgment on your part. That's precisely what I was trying to do. Stay the fuck away from me. This restraining order means nothing to you, woman. But, but it looks like the winds have shifted. He's now willing to be chased after. I'm simply overwhelmed. Oh, yeah, baby. Baby! Don't you worry, Edgy Poo. I'd chase you forever to the ends of the earth. I love you so goddamn much. Isn't that just beat? <laughs> This is one of those rare times where Francisca and I actually see eye to eye. <laughs> Why? Why would you do this to me? Well then, <laughs> uh, sorry, just had to let loose that little bit of me that was dead. What are you doing here? I thought you were working at Gatewater Land as the Pink Badger. How off? How many jobs do you go through in a week? What are you talking about? That was ages ago. That was, yeah. <laughs> that was literally fucking yesterday. Look, I worked at Global Studios for a long time ago, right? Well, they called me up this morning, got him out of the blue, actually. They called you. Apparently, the girl who plays Wink Princess claps for a bad cold or something. And I'm so suddenly, so they called me in, in to be her last minute replacement. 
Do they not have enough people on staff at the, at the studio? Really? They couldn't find anybody else. Anybody else in the world. I really couldn't say no, so here I am playing the role of the heroine. Stare at that Mindy girl, I mean. <laughs> when you ever die... <laughs> But the poor girl, I feel bad for her. Because they let me stand. St. Ivers is going to have a terrible time when you return. I mean, I'm not saying three well, I'm not saying to the very last thing I sort of wanted about through the rock and all the shirt and the the audience was in that room. <laughs> and it goes head exploded. You're another lively old lady. Oh my god. So basically, you received the standard request this morning, correct? Long story short. Yep, yeah, you got it. If you, if you need to see it, I've got it right here. Look. It appears that she is telling the truth. Huh, <sighs> damn it. I'm sure hoping you'd be the killer this time. <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell you my fine acting for the entire audience of tears. Yes, tears of laughter, as I recall. <laughs> but being famous has its problems, too. Here, take a look at this. There's a letter from a stalker! Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> what the? Oh my god. Wendy, I'll be descending on you from above tonight. Your loving knight. Oh my god. Oh, 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 ha, 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 <laughs> oh my god, oh, the way it's written, it looks like it could say Wendy, but it actually says Mindy, and that's the other, the other girl's name, so, oh, I can see clearly now, the bulls is gone. I can see all the Larry butts in my way. I'm gonna stab a bitch in the face. It's gonna be a shit, 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 shit fucking day. Ba -da -ba -doom -ba. <laughs> fucking uh, Larry did that. So Larry did that. He put it, he wrote that letter. So he's coming in down through the chimney for to do that, I guess. And then, when, yes, Wendy old bag just took it, blah, blah. And so, Larry does fuck up again. I'll just take my brain around this thugger to the door of my room. Honestly, you really have to watch out for these kind of things. Look at what it says. Wendy, I'll be sit sitting on you for a buff tonight. You're a loving knight. Was that you, Edgy? Oh, how absolutely revolting. I mean, you think you could get my name right? There's no accent in my, accent in my name. <laughs> Wait, this this horrible handwriting. Where have I seen it before? Why is it burned deep in the depths of my soul? Ah, uh, but now that you're here, Edgy Boo, I feel 100% safe. Mmm, -hmm. Big, bribbling biceps, baby, ah! No, don't touch me, ah! Ah, no! Ah, yeah, yeah, where do I factor into this? You must not even stalk around for my sake, wouldn't you, Edgy Boo? Well... If you allow me the liberty to hand this in my own, handle this in my own way, I'll gladly dispatch a de detective to your house later. No, oh, come on, Edgy Boo, don't be so dismissive and playing hard to get. You know how, just how I like it, baby cakes. No, I don't. I know nothing of the sort. What are you doing at the time of the crime, anyway? What crime? What? You don't see the dead dude over there? The dead fat Asian guy in the corner? After the show was over, I had nothing but free time on my hands. So I use fireplace in the next room to keep my 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 bad hip warm. And there's that little bit of logic I needed. Okay, okay. So th okay, the, the fireplace was been different than it wasn't this wasn't this fireplace. I didn't matter. I caught in the room right next to yours. Is that right? Oh, Edgy Boo, I'm so scared. Hold me, caress me, mm -hmm. hold my big luscious kickball shaped boobs. If you could please not cling on to my pers personage. <laughs> if any in any case, I take I take it then that you failed to show up at the. Ambassador Alba's speech. Oh, that no, I didn't go. I mean, I may have the heart of a young dead maiden, but my body just refused to cooperate at times. Oh, yeah, baby. I still got at least 30 horsepower in this bad boy. Whoa! You know what I mean? As soon as the show ended, my hipster, my hipster had acted up and got stiff. I couldn't move at all. Can you really prove of your condition? Oh, you just go on ahead and ask doctors in the infirmary. They're the ones who carried me from the theater all the way to this embassy. I have to admit, the, the thought of her not being able to leave the, the, that room is rather pleasant. <laughs> ah. Paras, you're on car, I brought the police dog as you requested. Holy crap. Nico, you... <laughs> <laughs> you okay there, Nico? Wow, what in the world is happening to my voice? La Larry, you're killing my voice, bro. You're killing my voice. Pro I brought the police dog as you requested, sir. I'm still not quite there. Why... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. I think a little song ballad as uh, in Edgeworth kind of did me over a little bit. <laughs> That's what you get for. 
That's what you get for showing off, Edgeworth. Good work, comedian. Now leave, officer. Oh, look. It's, is, it, is that the funny... T hmm, this t it is, isn't it? Wait. Wait, was it? Was he also named Missile? Was it... What did we have a... Did we have a dog in Phoenix Drive from the very first game that was also named Missile? This dog. I requested the assistance of a dog in search for Ayata Garasu. Oh, look at him. Oh, I'm just a funny little booger. Hey, wait. That's not the kind of police dog we usually get. Where's like a it's like a German Shepherd. What what kind of dog would this be? I th I think my voice is going a little bit here. <clears throat> what kind of dog would this be though? This is like a is it like a Shiba or something? Is that a kind of dog they would use for police investigations? Looks like you have some pretty bright dogs in this country too. <laughs> <laughs> it's Missile. <laughs> Hey, you're real cute. You're real cute, aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah, that's a good boy. Who's a bugger bugger? Who's a bugger bugger? Who's a bugger bugger? <laughs> that's a police dog gum she's been taking care of. I think its name is. Yes! <laughs> it's Mizza! Oh my god, so many cameos in one episode. I can't handle this. <laughs> oh my god, that's right. I knew it. And he called him Missile. I, I almost feel like that has to be a reference to the other dog, too. Because because that was done by Capcom as well, right? It's done by the same studio, the Ghost Trick uh, dog. Yes, and he, this dog also has superpowers. Missile! <laughs> what a fitting name for a police dog that dashed out in front and attacks. The action alone isn't exactly what's going to solve the case for us, you know. Now, Missile, I want you to go find some ghosts! Go! Slay all my enemies for me! <laughs> Woof! Okay, I'm gonna go do it. Bye! Okay, found shifted! Wow, that was fast. Good dog, you really are quite bright, aren't you? Damn. Unlike a certain someone I know. <laughs> if you're talking to me, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything. What do we have here? Oh my god, it's a fucking. Is that a hot dog? Hot dog. <laughs> it is a hot dog! What is this? It looks like a small hot dog, but. Hmm, wait, Francisco, isn't that an official samurai dog? Oh my god! Didn't Larry? Larry sold those at one point, right? He sold samurai dogs. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ, missile. Fuck me. Oh, no, bad missile. Fucking. Ah, ah, he's not attacking me. Ah. <laughs> missile feed. Missile one hot dog. Missile feed. Ah, ah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. He ate it. Huh? I wonder if it's uh, all right for him to eat that. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm just gonna poop. I'm gonna poop it out later. It's just me, subs, a snack featuring the si steel samurai. I'm sure it'll be fine. That's quite a bit of information you gathered there in a single quick glance. Well, we should really be focusing on why there was a samurai dog in there in the first place. <laughs> hmm, looks like that snack wasn't all missile found. Oh, what do we have here? Appears to be a lady's undershirt. What if Ambassador Alba might have an interesting cross <laughs> I somehow doubt it. I somehow doubt that. Doesn't look like the shirt would even fit him. A samurai dog in a lady's undershirt. What are these two items doing in a room like this? Given the circumstances, a lady's undershirt could only belong to one demon human being. I suppose I should get this over with and ask the owner of the upset undershirt about it. Huh. Huh. Hey there. What's this doing there? It's gotta be you, right? It's gotta be fucking you. You please take a look at this brown colored undershirt. Oh, wait a minute. What is the meaning of this? Huh? Why did you steal that thing from my bags? All you had to do was ask, and I would have gladly given you as many as you like, mm, as well as any, any of my undergarments you might want. No! Ah! 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 Gross! 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 That's gross. Thanks, but no thanks. Sure was found here at the, this crime scene. What? <laughs> Come now. Why don't you, why don't you just come and explain what it's do, doing here? I know nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Uh, she was probably, uh, I, I'm betting, I'm betting she originally did come here because she was hoping to, like, she was probably enamored by whoever said the note, right? Did she find out it was Larry and was just like, oh, fuck no! <laughs> what? Oh, I admit that I used fireplace to dry that shirt. Well, I can't really help the fact that I had to, you know. Where that big princess cousin was like being in a sauna? <laughs> and on top of that, I get fingered as a suspect. Damn right, I finger everybody. You're too cruel, that's boo. Are you claiming that you never once sent foot inside this room? Of course I am! If I happen to the one to find this body, you think I'd be calm as rocks I am now? I tell you, it's always like this. I'm now to example always thought this camera of the guy that are missing speaking that never seen them. We got married, Sam Stuggy Bang, and I'm the surprise man! Oh no! Oh hey, I made an appearance this game! What am I 
doing here? Get out of here, Monokuma. Ah! Um, well... Uh... What? <laughs> say, what now? Don't believe she's lying about her actions. Whatever that was. So I can safely assume she really was drawing her shirt by the fireplace on her break. Oh, someone on the undershirt managed to move from the next room into this one. Uh, okay. Assume the samurai dog was also yours. Ah, oh, that brilliant mind of mind of yours! You really can see through everything! You must have been able to detect match my teeth with the mic marks, you sexy motherfucker, you! And so the feeling of dread continues, but I so I should ask for more details. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to ask for more details. Don't make me do it, Nico. No! No! You have to do it, Edgeworth. It's the only way we have to get through it, through this part. Okay. Same right always yours, wasn't it? Tell me now, you dirty whore. Oh, of course. I forgot yours, my edgy wedgy boo. Hold it. If you get to stick to the one I asked you. Edgy, are you? Miss Obeg getting giggity? No! Really don't change, do you? When will you learn how to take a joke? Anyway, that samurai dog wasn't mine. Those things are a present from the studio to the embassy. It prints it. The studio big ones basically tell us to, to play delivery boys. Perhaps just hand the dogs over to the, off to the embassy people and tell them hi. I had to pile them all into the push cart just to move them all. The studio guys should have to deliver those things by themselves. Right, Edgy? So, did you deliver the samurai dogs to the embassy staff as your per your instructions? Hey, Edgy, don't just ignore me. Quick question. How are you going to stay up for me, dude? Oh, about that. See, after the show, I want to rest. Oh, I want to rest as well in the dressing room. Well, because of my bad hip, you know. And there they were. The same right after just sitting on the dressing room floor. I suppose you had, I suppose you had to make preparation to distribute to them after the show. Well, by preparation, you mean sampling them as well. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> oh, I tried one and thought they were actually quite good, so I ate all of them. Sorry, but I just had to find, find out. I know it was silly of me to think this, but I figured that since they were for a kids' show, their taste is probably for kids, too. But they were so good that I couldn't stop. I was like, Before I went back to my room, I just had to help myself to half a dozen or so boxes. Well, half a, half a dozen or so boxes? Oh my god! No one. And it went straight to my boobs, as you can see. I just sat by there, there by the roaring fire, warming and eating them. I, I thought, ah, oh, this is. <laughs> what is it now? Oh, I know. I bet you want a box too, don't you, my edgy boo? Well, who am I to say no to you? But I'll only give you one. And the rest are all for me. <laughs> I don't think about me, man. Thanks. Whole box of dogs. Looks well, like the lesson of the day is that when the steel samurai and the pink princess take off their masks, they transform into a pair of annoying troublemakers. <laughs> you have ruined the show forever for me. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. I feel dirty inside. Okay, smoke from chimney and use fireplace. Go for it! Connect wood! There's no trace of this fruit fireplace being used. But your point is. Ahem, smoke is supposedly pouring out of the chimney connected to this fireplace. At least according to Larry, this is a contradiction to the fact, is it not? Are you sure he wasn't just disoriented or something up in that roof? There is testimony from an investigator that puts Larry at that, this particular chimney. So no, I don't think it was a mistaken impression of, on Larry's part. On the other hand, the fireplace in the next room was being used at the time. Where are you supposed to have the smoke for that fireplace went? I see, so what you are proposing is this. The smoke that came out through the chimney was actually from the Miss Oldback's fireplace. Oh, I see, he went in the wrong one, all right, I, I, I guess. So basically, the fireplace of neighboring rooms. Share one chimney, is that what you are implying? Oh, uh, oh, I see, okay, okay. Yeah, I guess some houses do do that, don't they? Or they, yeah. Not it's not like every fireplace is his own one. I mean, they could ha they could they can share the same one. I I I, I guess. Does that work? Is that like is is that? I, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really uh savvy on the structure of houses, but okay. Share one chimney. Precisely. Okay, so they share the chimney and then under from the door from next door. So. I don't really get how that got over here still, but okay. Ah! Ladies on to show you that missile found. Ah! Why are you getting all excited over holding on to a lady's undergarment? What? Mayor Sedgeworth, you uncouth slee slug! If you know the owner of a said undershirt, then hurry up and bring turn it turn already! You have it all wrong, this evidence. God! You, you aren't paying any attention, are you, to me, uh, my karma? What? <laughs> and the owner of this piece of evidence was in the room next door. And yet, despite this 
It's right, and my missile found it in the fireplace of this room. This lady's undershirt. Are you seriously claiming that someone passed through a solid brick wall? Not quite. The fireplace in this room is connected to, the ch to a chimney. The other fireplace in the other room is also connected to the same chimney. Leading us to the possibility that the two fireplaces are connected to each other. Perhaps a closer look at the back of the fireplace in order. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, so they're like literally back to back to each other. And I pull a lever and it'll like, woo, switch me over. There is an X on the on the back of the wall of the fireplace. Let's see if I can get a better look at it. What in the pants? The wall separating this room's fireplace from the next room's fireplace. Apparently turns. Wow, who designed this building? I suspect the fireplace does indeed connect to this room. This to the neighboring room. The neighboring room? It appears to be nothing particular about the next room. But the fact that there is something nothing special about the next room isn't what's important. It's the fact that there is a secret passage through this room's fireplace. Hmm. Now that the fireplace connects the two rooms. But how exactly is that snipped? You aren't going to suddenly name the old lady as a master mass killer dude now, are you? I really wish, but no. She couldn't move at all because of her stupid fucking hip. So she could not have been the one. Fortunately, I believe that this fireplace has nothing whatsoever to do with the mass to murder. Oh. I am done. Heal me. Wait, no, never mind. <laughs> I'm already healed. It would appear that the answer has made itself known. You're quite the confident face there, Mr. Prosecutor. Bring, bring it on. <laughs> I'm ready to counter any argument you may have. Very well then, if you are prepared, I'll show you exactly where my deductions have led me. How about the cut of counter, you edgy? Leave it to me, Larry, you piece of shit. First attack will be to expose your lie for what it really is. <laughs> my love! <laughs> I know that there is still something you are keeping from the rest of us, just like you always fucking do, because you never can tell me the truth on the first go. What's wrong with you? Why is it you won't believe me no matter what I say, Andy? Curse you, I should just hurry up and die or whatever this is gonna be. Yes, please do. If you show up at if you show up at Ace Attorney Investigations 2, I swear to god I will rip your head off and use it as my personal puppet. I'll give us every murder in the world and then kill myself, dude! And throw everything to mask you in. Uh, you made some wonderful friends with a child, I see. You have no idea. You have no idea what my life is about, do you, Lang? It is it is fucking hell. Every day! Every day of the week. Larry, I only have one thing to say to you. Shut the front door! If you use that face... If you make that face of me, it's no use! A man who's ready to die is strong-willed, you know? Larry, it doesn't matter what sort of harebrained trouble you've caused. I only ask that you do not lie to me. If you cause an innocent person to be judged unfairly because of some insipid lie, I will never give you! <laughs> By what you mean, doing that again? Edgy! Although allow me to say, that I consider you to be among the innocent in this case, and that I will draw the real killer out. You can trust me on this. All right, I, I, this time. This time I'll tell you the whole truth of the game. What happened? You, what didn't happen? The works. Just what happened will do, damn it. Now then, if you would please testify as to what you did up on the roof tonight. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go again. Now time to get Larry's testimony for the 8,000th time. Up on the rooftop. Up on the rooftop, click, click, click. Down came Larry, Lulu, Lip. Ba ba dee ba dee ba loo. Just get on with it already. And the show, I left the bush garden in the rose, gar rose garden and came into the embassy. Then they took a picture of me shaking hands with the ambassador. After that, and until my next appearance, I had some free time, so I wandered around. That's why I spotted the chimney. A chimney like, a chimney like that is a rare thing, you know? So then I wanted to play Santa and decided to give it a try. <laughs> Larry, I thought I just finished telling you to, to not lie anymore. Um, but it's kind of ultra embarrassing, dude. What exactly is so ultra embarrassing you can't tell me? Hedgy you, man. I just said it was embarrassing, so of course I just can't blur it out. You're just gonna have to brazen it out of me. It's just superior. I command you to hurry up and expose that man's lie. Every intention, Doover. I'm not meant to let us waste it. Time was a traveling matter. God dang it, Larry. I like how he's just, he's like, you've just missed. Yeah, I am lying, but you have to beat it out of me, dude. Hold it. You suddenly wanted to play Santa. I actually dressed up as Santa once before already. Oh yeah, I remember from the first game. Isn't that what you were selling hot dogs? That was down at Gordon Lake, dude. Ah, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't dredge up such unnecessary memories for me. I was on trial for that, I think. 
actually, I don't remember. Was that the... No, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, things happen. Uh, sounds like you guys share a lot of history. You have no idea! A perk of being, to being childhood friends, huh? Besides not a felony to dress up and play Santa, you know. Santa does go around killing people after he comes down a family's chimney, after all. <laughs> there doesn't go around, I mean. Actually, it's worth delving into whether or not playing Santa is a big deal. Raise an objection. Actually, I believe that in the case of this man, playing Santa is actually quite a big deal. Are you saying that your buddy isn't exactly made of Santa quality stuff? Precisely. He is not cr full of Christmas joy. He hit, you hit the nail on the head, Agent Lang. Hey, this is so incredibly mean, dude. Tell me something, Larry. Do you know that Santa's job is to deliver presents to all, people all over the world? Of course I know that. Hi, hey, Grand Rift Junior. How you do? In that case, your turn to tell me something. I want you to tell me to whom you were delivering a present to. Um, I was, uh, delivering a present to a child not basking in the glow of love. Objection! You are an idiot. That must be the most elegant description of you I've ever heard, but a lie is still a lie. You sure know how to kick a man in the balls, don't you? You do, don't you? In any case, the person you wish to deliver a present to was, uh, unto was most certainly this. Uh, oh god. Well, okay, I guess it has to be her then, right? Take that! Huh, interesting taste you have there, Mr. Suspect. Didn't you notice my lies, baby? I totally didn't want to see Miss Holbank so much that I'd try to go down the chimney. Huh? I find you some right there, you beat bashing of a lady! Well, I must admit that I myself hardly ever have the want, have the want to run into that lady. But she showed up twice in my game, and I'm already ready to fucking kill myself. However, what if you were misinformed under the wrong impression? Then what? Define wrong impression. I simply mean the man before you thought to enter the old lady's room without knowing one very important fact. Fact is, the best summed up with this. Ba 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 ba. There we go. Lucky for you to take a lot of fuck me. How's that not sum up with this? Oh, the stand-in request. I got you. The thing is, the old lady received from her employer for the night. The girl who normally plays a pink princess, Mindy, was was it again? It seems that this man is quite taken with that actress. Nico, you're right there, bro. Your voice is dying today. I know. Ugh. That's not true, Angie. Ah. She's the one with us for me. I just know I did. I can feel her sexy beat piercing my heart when she's watching me. How sexy, baby, I tell you. You'll feel the inner spickle and consider a fickle lady out of cowardly. Fool. <laughs> Apparition of a man! You haven't much heard at all since we last met! Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Yeah? This guy's got bigger problems than just getting involved in murders, I take it. As far as you can put it that way. He got 99 problems and everything's won. Hey, what the heck, man? I don't get you guys at all. Why do you all have to make me out to be some sort of bad guy? Returning the original topic, I suppose that at least as much has been made clear. Without any knowledge that Miss Mindy had fallen ill, Larry tried to make his way into the Pink Princess's room, that which we know for sure. Hey, Angie, looks like I've got the hang of this court thing now. But we're not in court at the moment. <laughs> Shut up, I see what's going on here. It looks just like we, we do in court. Hey, so boy, you still has something you'd like to say. Like Z says, until the root of the, the tongue dries, one never knows the whole truth. You shouldn't form conclusions until everything is out in the open, which is why I'll listen. All right, then, great, listen to me, defeat Angie in a battle of wits. Larry, have you forgotten that you sh that I, should I lose your victory, will be your victory, your prize will be your arrest. Uh, Larry's assertion. See, so I think all I wanted to do was go visit Mindy. Well, I dressed up as Santa, and I climbed up to the chimney. Yet the smoke was really thick. This case mistaken identity. That mistake made me to play for the speech. Then top it off, it became a suspect in a murder. That's what you really meant. But why would everyone put myself through so much humiliation on purpose? What? Hey, someone say something. Larry, are you seriously trying to submit this? Not as a confession, but as testimony. So what am I having to say around that? My claim is a claim, and claim, my claim, my, my claim is a claim, and claim, and my claim. Do you have a problem with that? So it was you. You're my sucker. But I should warn you, it doesn't matter what kind of flattery you throw at me. I'm the most type of woman who's wholly focused on one man, one man only, as long as it's who's alive. I can't just drop in on people. No, I can't, although I really was tempted by a tiny window of a wolf man who will protect you. I'm so inspired. Wait, did she say she was in, She said she had the house for me for a second. <laughs> Since it's a cowardly idiot, I can only run completely with this man. I thought I heard something ominous just now, but perhaps it was just my imagination. <laughs> was that about with the... 
for uh uh la laying there. Well, there's nothing further for me to prove at this point. What do you mean? Of course you can look out of something to prove. You have to show us the proof that I was trying to meet up with Wendy. Proof, you say? Remember, Angie, everything is evidence in court, right? You mean evidence is everything in court, Larry, but I understand your stupid point. Ah, I see, I'm totally pro with this now, dude. Very well, if you wish to see the evidence then, then let me show you the last piece of evidence you'll ever wish to see. I'm gonna shove it right in your mouth hole. Okay. Okay, now I gotta present the stupid fucking letter, right? Objection! There we go. Oh, Larry, you are an idiot. Larry, don't even think about denying that you have knowledge of this letter. <laughs> hey! Why are you showing that to me? Wendy, I'll be descending on you. Ugh. Ugh. Wendy, I'll be descending on you from above tonight, your loving night. I think my allergies are acting up. Ugh. Well, isn't that just romantic? But you, you weren't able to descend on her from above, were you? You missed her loving night? Ha! Ah, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't remember a thing. You can pretend to be ignorant all you'd like, but it's written. Oh my god, am I dying? What is happening? It's written right here. This letter proves that you were not out to meet the old lady, but rather that you were attempting to pay Miss Mindy a visit. The part of this letter shows that the person Larry intended to meet was Mindy. I don't know, how about the big fucking name right there? Ding dong. Larry, I insist that you take up a penmanship lesson. That is, if you had never wished to experience this level of embarrassment ever again. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? What are you talking about, dude? Speak English! You wrote Mindy so sloppily that it became windy to the average eye. Hey, stop it, Gabby, dude! Like, seriously, what are the odds of that happening? What are the odds of that happening? <laughs> It's so embarrassing! Oh, 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 oh. There, there, isn't that what childhood friends are for? They're the best, aren't they? We're punching, but they'll have to wait till after, until we're off on this crime scene. Ha, Angie, save me with the scary man! No, kill him for me. Do it for me. Sure, if you're willing to make amends, starting with your own incredibly embarrassing mistake. That, that, that wasn't me! Come again? It's fake! Someone's out to give me something made that fake letter! This sent me a, uh, Oh, Larry, just let it go, man. I'm so sick of fucking Larry. Just let it go. Let it go, let it go. Stop fucking in my investigations. Except you to me graciously. Oh, you guys, you're being so mean. Penmanship and analysis. What's that? No matter who, all people have certain unique features to their handwriting. Ergo, Heather too, therefore, however, all we have to do is compare the handwriting in this letter to a sample of yours, and we'll know soon enough who it was that sent this letter. Hi, 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 I'll never write another thing in my life. Tiss, tiss, tiss. It's no use, Mr. Loving Knight. For you, I've already graciously provided me with a sample of your handwriting. Oh, that's right. Da -da 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 -da. Sonograph in our mysterious letter. If we compare the handwriting, we'll know the answer to our questions soon enough. Come on, down, Larry, to your miserable failure. I'm sorry. I I did it. It was me causing trouble again. I admit it. You hit the nail around the kid, Hedgy. Of course I did. So he finally confesses. Thank God. <laughs> so the pink princess being carried around to start to go hard, all right? I wanted to go into Mindy's room, but the archers wouldn't let me in. So what choice did I have? Hey, was the chimney here, Boss Edgy? Your mind jumped from the door to the chimney. What a criminally overactive imagination. Uh, at least it was us who wrote Mindy his letter and stuck it under the door. That was that way she wouldn't be so shocked when I came down through the chimney. Except for the fact that the winner was under failure of conveying a said sentiment. I'm really, really sorry, dude. Larry, you may be a shameful, good for nothing piece of shit, and I hope you die. <laughs> However, I always knew you weren't the killer. Because you're just too fucking stupid to be. Thanks, Edgy. I knew you loved me, dude. I told you to trust me. Because at the very least, I can attest, that, attest to that about you. Edgy, you're... Huh. We lost a lot of valuable time because of you. You wish we wasted a whole fucking episode of this dumb fucking idiot. Fucking fuck. <laughs> oh. In any case, I believe we can say that we now know exactly what happened. Mr. Lay bustle to climb down the chimney. Not for access to the crime scene, but to enter the room of an elderly, elderly lady next door. Great job, Mr. Prosecutor. Although I still find it a bit unbelievable the two of you are friends. Ah, uh, me too. I'm suspicious on the guy over there. 
isn't completely resolved yet, so don't get any any funny ideas about running off, okay? Hello? Hey, what? Hey, Jake, what does the Wolfman mean when he says I'm not winning the whole thing yet? He means Wolverine's gonna fuck you, dude. No, dude! He means the murder weapon. Larry, did you forget? That big bloody sword over there? The two layers of suspicion hanging over your head. Exactly what I mean. We can't only rely on the words of the suspect after all. We may have figured out where he was and what he was doing all night. But the blood-stained samurai sword that was left at the crime scene. As long as there is no satisfactory explanation for that, this wolf will refuse to ease up on his bike. Ha! Huh, you the guy! He looks like he's seriously about to bike a bite out of me, dude! I'm well aware he should be as well as this upcoming battle will be crucial. Thanks to the cooperation of our lovely bumbler, I've been dealt a very nice hand and a sweet trump card. Looks like we're about to enter the final bout. Uh, Mr. Brush, see what you got. I can easily point out the contradiction in this uh, supposed murder weapon, but the real problem for me is figuring out what the real murder weapon is. This will be a high stakes gamble. Yeah, but this is one game I cannot lose, can't afford to lose. Da da da. Da da da. Shut up! Bye, Larry. Bye. I was the one who found the body of the victim to mask too. Beside him was a samurai sword, glittering red and offering up the scent of blood. It was, for, uh, it was supposed to be in the Sale Samurai's dressing room, but I found it in here instead. Plus, I found the murder weapon's owner and suspect Larry Butts in here, too. Isn't it a bit far-fetched to accuse someone simply on the base of the ownership? This owner wanted to sneak onto the crime scene. I think that's plenty to go on, don't you? If you're alluding to his reason for being by the chimney, we've already established that. Hold on there, Mr. Prosecutor. You two are longtime friends, right? Who's to say you didn't fabricate the evidence to give an alibi? You're accusing me of fabricating evidence? Fuck you, bro. You think I can believe anything that you produce? Forging evidence is all you prosecutors do. This man has some serious issues with prosecutors. <laughs> well, come on, I can't think of something as complicated as that. Right, Edgy? That's right, he's too stupid. Larry, I can agree because I know you and your personality well. However, Agent Lang knows nothing about you. Although, or me for that matter. I sense hatred for my entire profession emanating from his entire being. Being that the only way I can prove Larry's innocence is to present irrefutable evidence. All right, let's do this. Excuse me, but glittering red and offering up a scent of blood. Do I have to spill it out for you? I mean the sight and smell of blood, of course. And according to the test, the blood on the sword belongs to the victim. The sword was made to only be used on stage, so it's not sharp. But it's pretty wet, it's pretty weighty, it's certainly heavy enough to beat someone to death with it. Which leads me, to, leads me to suspect the murder was, the victim was beaten to death with a sword. Beaten to death, huh? This last statement is too important to just let it slip by. Alright, add that back in. So that was the samurai sword, covered in the victim's blood. I see, oh, I suspect he beat the victim to death with that thing. Wrong, wrong. Objection. Wrong, wrong. It's not a real thing. Right, I, I guess. Do you know what this is, Agent Lang? <laughs> it's a long spear, right? We used those to use a lot in my country a long time ago. Piercing, mowing people down. Spears are the weapon of heroes throughout history. It's the next most effective weapon against the wit. Have to be wit. <laughs> I think the whip is in a slightly different category. <laughs> it's in the kinky category. So what's your point? Are you want to tell me the spear is the real weapon? No, I simply want you to take a look at this section here. The way it's bent. Precisely. Apparently a certain troublemaker hit it against a wall in this embassy earlier. Uh, oh, I see, okay. You know, I actually thought that the, okay, I was I actually thought possibly, because it seems like there's a knife missing, right? Because right now we seem to have, there's two knives in the other room, and this room also appears to be missing a knife, right? And, and the, while well, the other room was missing, I thought maybe the, one, that other knife was like hidden in the spear or something. Because uh, uh, it it's kind of curved like the dagger was, but okay. It was actually just bent that way. As you clear, the insides of the Sail Samurai's weapons are hollow. In other words, they're up against that aren't strong enough to deliver a damaging blow. Let alone the multiple strikes that started bludgeoning someone to death. And yet, there is not even a single dent in the, the Samurai's sword. How do you explain that? Hiya, <laughs> <laughs> you suck! Oh yeah, sorry, the spear made the same stuff, so they bent really easily. But I wish they make them out of better stuff because the spear got bent, dude. 
I was able to do my, my special early, ser early summer rain jam move. Then I guess it's an earful for the director of the play for not doing it in the show. Seal Samurai's special move was changed tonight because of him? No! <laughs> Damn you, Larry. Why do you ruin everything I love? <laughs> what? That's more than enough of your whip, whipper, whining whippering. Now, back on the topic of this beer. Yes, we're turning the real topic discussion. This is where the real gamble begins. I don't have a real strategy, per se. So all I can do never now is let the chips fall where they may. Who's a guesswork at taking risk and playing some liar logic starting the Von Combo? Wait, so you're smart, no, very clever. No, but it's how Phoenix Wright does it. Von Karma, as you know, unlike your father, I am not a genius prosecutor. Buzz, I doubt his record of a 40-year win streak will ever be broken. Perhaps, but perhaps it's for the best it remains unbroken. For now, for no one should, know, should have conceived of the notion to convict all the defendants in the first place. What a foolishly foolish statement for a foolish fool who hates to lose. It's a job of a prosecutor to make sure that all defendants are found guilty in court. There's nothing more important in this world than a perfect victory. Good God, all right, we're on this now. That may be your opinion, however, I don't believe that's all That's all we, we, are, we are. As a prosecutor, I want to pursue is not the perfect victory, but the perfect truth. And if that means that the bridge I must cross will crumble beneath my feet, then let it crumble as I walk on toward the truth. You're good at keeping me entertained, Mr. Prosecutor. But you know, humans are delicate creatures. This last bumpin', we expire. I'd like you to consider, if you will, the possibility that the sword was used in such a way that the attack, will, the attack killed Damascus without bending it. So what do you think of my hypothetical scenario? I think you know what to do here, right, and what you need. Of course. But any evidence even Agent Lang can't refute. This is it. It's time to bring this to a close. Let's do this, baby cakes. Why, Larry, part deuce. It's possible to use the samurai sword to kill someone. And under these circumstances, it's the only logical conclusion. <sighs> we searched the embassy top to bottom, but the victim's blood is only on that weapon. So it isn't it natural, only natural, that the suspicion will fall into the owner of that said weapon. How long do you intend to cling on to the, that preposterous theory? As long as I want, because we examined every corner within the walls of this embassy. There's no stone we've left unturned. We have managed to come up with only one logical conclusion. That the only place inside this embassy with the victim's blood on it is the sword. You left no stone unturned? That is that a fact. If you've got something to, to say, then say it in only the way I respect Miss Roskier. By smacking my testimony! Yes, of course, in that case, let me to make it all crystal clear for you! Okay, so... Does that mean the knife was used on him or something? I'm... Hold it! Hold it! The only place where you could find blood was on the Samurai Sword. That's right, and with Luminol. Which means that there are no other possibilities outside of what I've already outlined. I have a problem with Agent Lang's assertion, the Samurai Sword is the weapon. Yes, I do! I think it's gonna be end up being the knife, right? Believe that there is no other door possibility left to open. And allow me to force one open for you. I like we, I don't really, the way he's sort of doing it is kind of like, he's saying that there is a way to have killed them, but only because there's blood on it. And he didn't, but he didn't really like declare what that way was, right? Like, how he managed to do that. <laughs> it's like, it only, it has to be possible because there's no other weapon here that could it possibly be. <laughs> That's a dumb assertion. You're dumb. Huh, and how do you plan to do that? By showing you what may possibly be the real murder weapon. A big bloody knife. <laughs> real murder weapon, I had to repeat myself, but my men have already searched every last inch of this embassy. Are you shitting me? Like, really? I can't even believe are you, this guy's really saying this. You searched every last inch of this embassy, except for the other side of the fucking embassy where I was! And gluing that nothing else could have been used the murder weapon, knowing that these facts, you still want to press forward with your little hypothesis. Of course, because it's not possible that your men inspected everything in their investigation. You dumb fuck. What are you talking about? I don't appreciate mind games. I don't appreciate when people are like, like you slander my men. I'm not slandering them. I assure you, I'm slandering you, dumb dumb. I'm really pointing out that their investigation, investigative dragnet has a few holes in it. Namely that there is something your men couldn't even lay a finger on. And that item is the real murder weapon. Uh, uh, alrighty then. <laughs> alrighty then. I'll play along for now. My Jim Carrey just popped out. This real weapon that killed Damascus 2, what exactly is it? A real murder weapon, which is not a single person has yet to touch, is th 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 this. Dark not. Shit. 
Oh, it was a statue. It was a statue. That's why the statue has been moved, right? Yeah, gotcha. I thought somehow the knife was used as well. All right, well, yeah, actually, now that I think about it, the knife wouldn't have made any sense either, because it was, it was, it was bludgeoned, not, not stabbed. National Treasure of Alabast. You mean the Pyramidux statue? Yes, and you, as you know, only the master and the secretariat may touch it, which I believe means that neither you nor your men were able to examine it correctly. Ha ha! You know very well that if we did that, there'd be an international incident. Probably blood underneath it, right? But you can't see, because between the Kingdom of Alabaster and the Republic of Babal, the two countries' precariously relate relationship teeters in the balance over a stupid fight related to a sovereignty statue. But I'll be damned if I let something go unexamined. Agent Lang, you could take a look at this. The direction of the statues facing just before and after the crime are different, and there is only one conclusion I can draw from that. Go look for Master Alban. Get, get him to give us the okay to examine the statue. Shifu, you can't listen to the words of Simulo's words. You cannot listen to him. He is most certainly trying to trick you. Shifu, please listen. Let's be rational about this. Lengzi says. Shut up! Just go already! <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> Thanks, he says. Go over there, I fucking kill you! Shivu! Yeah? Really sorry, sir. I was unable to convince the ambassador. I was unable to retain the image for us to examine the Primadoc statue. Huh. I see. Wait, but then the investigation is at a standstill! Agent Lang, I will go to speak to the ambassador personally. Just get one of them to come over and pick it up for us. <laughs> you know, if they don't want anyone to do it. Save your breath. You may act all weekend for but that old man's old one tough cookie. But you gotta be tough when you're representing a whole country, you know. Agent Lang, what do you what do you, what do you want? A story been examined the statue already. What? What what what's you? What about causing an international incident? Quiet! I'll take the rip of all if I have to later. He's a link. Now, boss, this is mine. So if someone has to take responsibility, let it be me. Responsibility? If we're going to take it in such heavy terms, maybe I should let you. It'd be a real problem for my men if something would happen to me. All right, then. Let's talk and more investigating. You do it. If we want to know the truth, we can't stop here. Action must be taken. Is a link. I'd like to run a luminal... Oh, my God. God almighty. Can luminescence test on the on the statue? Luminal test. Uh, good. Good thinking. The statue is the murder weapon, then someone, some of the victim's blood should be on it. Okay, okay. Let's get the forensic steam in here. <laughs> okay. Ha, look like we hit the jackpot. Let's hit the jackpot, Mr. Prosecutor. This is means that this is the real weapon that killed Master Mess 2. Indeed. Indeedly need. Oh, okay. I, I thought, I thought it'd be like underneath it where it was like hiding it. I, I guess so I just wiped it off. I got you. But I wouldn't celebrate yet if I were you, so not let your friend off the hook. There's no proof that he didn't kill Master Mass, so the charge remains. We are hardly done examining the statue, Agent Lang. Knowing that it is the real weapon, I believe further examination is required. Oh, uh, you think so? Okay, then knock yourself out. I won't rest until I expected every nook and big golden doodly thing. Hello there! I knew there was something underneath this thing. Hmm. What do we have here? This dirty smudge. Here's a, like, a handprint. <laughs> what if it had been evidence like you, you doing under here? So we've got some fingerprints to analyze. Nah! Worst case scenario, these belong to Larry. But it looks like it's too late for me to do anything about that now. Whatever. What do you mean, worst case? This is best case scenario. Hey, forensics guy, when he's, I'll never resolve these fingerprints ASAP, you hear me? Sir, yes, sir, blah, blah, blah. Hey, you like I have the analysis results, sir. Good, and? Sorry about the parents we found left over the bottom of the, the statue. Larry, why are you talking over this man? I just like, re I like, re I like reading other people's message boxes as well. Up, you know, the victim of the murder and the Bob Lee's Odyssey. The prince belong to him, Mr. Randy Coaches, sir. But, but that's, why in the world? What's going on around here? No, that's impossible. Impossible. For a plain country, blah, 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 blah. It's probably not such. can only be handled by someone, someone of that country. But by the very fact that Mr. Gordon's fingerprints are on this one, it leads me to only one conclusion. This statue is actually Bobal's pretty next statue. Impossible, it can't be. Uh, uh, ah, yeah! You suck! 
<sighs> no, uh, Larry never once set a foot on Bobbly Soar, so he was free to go. However, this new piece of information only served to confuse us even further. The ringleader of a smuggling operation was killed with an alabaster knife in Bal Babal. And Damas too was killed on Malabasti soil with Babal's national tre treasure. And the mystery of the great thief Yanagrasu visited both countries. The pieces were there, but I had yet to see the big picture of that they were brought to form. Oh, to be continued. Oh my God, that was a long one. Another two hour long one for me. I mean, I know it's probably gonna cut out more for you guys, but oh, oh. My back is getting hot. I'm like wearing a, I don't know what it is exactly. I guess maybe because I'm talking in the microphone and maybe my breath is sort of bouncing back on me, but I get really hot sometimes, especially like if I'm like, like it's it's really cold here right now where I live. So I have like a fleece or something on. But usually by the end, like <laughs> after I finish like recording, I'm like, fuck me, I'm really hot now. Like I gotta take this, I'm gonna take this fleece off and I'm turn off this recording. But uh, anyway, uh, interesting so far. I really could dump that Larry and Old Pack again. I mean, it was funny, but fuck me, man. I tell I, Larry, fucking Larry, man. It just he's such a piece of shit. <laughs> I fucking hate Larry so much. Why does he have to ruin everything? He, everything he ever does. Uh, anyway. I don't really know what this means, honestly. I'm a little like, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm sure we'll understand the future. My voice is a little shot, too, after this. <laughs> I don't know what it was. So the allergy's probably kicking in or whatever, but anyway, like for you enjoy it. Subscribe now, become a big, big one, and aboard the SLP. The days are always sunny, and the bits are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.